Hey, Brogan. So I get the feeling like you really, really, really want to talk about movies. All right, here you go. So last week I was reading this book. No, but seriously, I, I know this really great book that any aspiring uh, filmmakers out there should totally make into a movie. Totally know the author personally. Really great guy. I could get you a deal. But for your question, Brogan, uh, favorite Harry Potter movie? No, it's not the popular choice, but I really like Prisoner of Azkaban. There's a few reasons why I like it, but one of them is I actually really like movies about time travel. There's quite a few different ways that movies can deal with the issue of time travel. So the first of those is split timeline. Basically, it's kind of like in Back to the Future when you go back, if you make a change, at that point that that change takes place, the timeline splits, that timeline's still going on, but then when, once you change that point right there, you get a branch in your timeline. You're now existing on that new timeline. So that's one of the, the that's that's one way that those movies can kind of deal with time travel movies that kind of go under that category that I actually kind of enjoy other than Back to the Future you have the X-Men Days of Future Past they kind of dealt with it that way too which they didn't really come out and specifically say branch in the storyline but it kind of worked the same way in the way that they dealt with the time travel in, in uh, Prisoner of Azkaban where there's not really the split in the timeline it's all just one timeline altogether where when you go back and you do something that's you're doing that and you did that before as well so there's there's no change in the events that happen so that that's an, that's, that would be the second way that that movies tend to deal with that i don't like that one as much because it kind of seems a little limiting on the story elements that they can put into it but it's still an interesting way to then the third way is kind of the Groundhog Day form of time travel where the character gets to go back and they keep reliving the same moment over and over and over again. It's not necessarily the time travel in the same sense, but it's still, you get they get to a certain point and then they go back to the beginning of that point. Movies that have used that, obviously it's uh, Groundhog's Day, Edge of Tomorrow, and Source Code. And then the fourth way, kind of a way that's not as used quite as often, but still an interesting concept is more of the butterfly effect kind of theory, which is kind of along the same lines as how the split timeline works. But it's a little bit different as the characters really can't get back to their original timeline, no matter how much they try unless they go back to the complete beginning and stop themselves from going back and changing those little events that affected and changed their life so significantly in their present time. And then today we got two questions of the day. First question is, I have a few different movie theories since you want to talk about movies so much. I've got a few different movie theories that I can discuss on here, try to explain but I need you to just let me know which one you would want to hear first. You can choose either Marvel Timeline Theory or we can discuss Moana. And then question of the day for everybody, what event in your life do you think you would want to travel back to to maybe see if you could change and get a different outcome? Go ahead, leave your comments down in the comment section down below. If you can, leave those here on the comment section in YouTube. I know that I am going to be putting the link on Facebook to this video, but if you can, avoid putting the comments on there and put those comments here on the YouTube channel in the comment section down below. If you have a Gmail account, just kind of click on, on the comment section down below and that gives you the option of logging in using your Gmail account. And that's all I got for you today, Brogan, and I can't wait to see your response tomorrow.